Greetings to you in the name of our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. Today we will uh, continue to look at uh, Joel chapter 1, verses 6 and 7. Beautiful uh, verses. In uh, these uh, verses, we are reminded that Satan is subjected to the authority of God. He is accountable to God. And yet uh, we uh, sometimes uh, come across Christians who uh, seek the help of uh, mediums and mormons when they are faced with uh, problems. I remember reading a, a sad uh, story to support uh, the family of a lay reader, a leader in the church. One day after the service, the lay reader is uh, why met up with the priest and asked if uh, he could uh, pray for their child. So the priest asked uh, what's the problem. Uh, so the uh, lady that said, uh, look, uh, our child has been uh, crying as though she's being uh, disturbed, especially during uh, the night. We have tried everything. We have, we have even taken and uh, seen a child specialist. But every doctor, including the specialist, specialist has said, there's something wrong uh, with your child. But every night, every night, our child seems to be uh, crying. So the uh, priest said, Okay, we will say a prayer for the child. And as uh, he was praying for the child, uh, suddenly uh, the lay leader's wife started to manifest. Suddenly she starts to speak in a different voice. So the priest knew that uh, there's something that's a spirit in her. So usually, usually uh, those who do uh, deliverance will not uh, communicate with the uh, demonic spirit. In this case, uh, the priest felt that uh, he must ask her because her husband uh, is a lay leader and here the wife is possessed. So he asked the uh, spirit that was uh, manifesting. He asked the spirit, why did you get into her? And the spirit uh, responded by saying, look, I did not go into her. She came and sought my help. So the priest was surprised. He said, hey, she's a regular worshipper. She follows her husband to church Sunday after Sunday. And so uh, he asked the priest, uh, the, the, the priest asked the uh, spirit, why did she come and uh, seek your help? For what? Oh, the spirit said, uh, she was suspicious. She thought she felt that uh, the husband was having an affair with uh, his working colleague in his office. So she came to uh, seek my help so that I will uh, protect him from uh, falling in love with this, uh, per, uh, with this uh, working color. Strange. We have a late reader, his wife, who are regular worshippers. Or what? Why did she go and uh, 
seek the help of a medium or a woman. Why did she go? Indirectly, she was actually seeking the help of the spirits that the uh, medium or bomo were using. Why? Most probably she felt that God was not powerful enough to protect her marriage. She had to go and seek the help of a medium or a bomo. She felt that uh, she needed the help of her spirit, an evil spirit, to protect her marriage. There are a lot of people like that. Who are, when they are in church, uh, who will uh, sing, What a mighty God we serve. But in their daily life, uh, once they leave the church, the mightiness of God is lost. The mightiness of the Lord, God is lost. Then, when they are faced with uh, problems, they quickly run to mediums or bombers, especially when they feel there's, that there is something in their house or there's something that is disturbing their sleep. Here in uh, Job chapter 1, verse 6, one day the angels came to present themselves before the Lord, and Satan also came with them. Which means that the angels came to present themselves before God, give an account of what they had been doing, and Satan was also among them. In other words, Satan as a created being. Now Satan was an angel. We read this in uh, Isaiah chapter 14. I'll just uh, read uh, a couple of verses for you. How you have fallen from heaven, O morning star, sun of the dawn, you have been cast down to the earth, you who once laid low the nations. So angel, uh, uh, Satan was an uh, uh, angel that was created by God. And when he uh, rebelled against God, verse 13, You said in your heart, I will ascend to heaven. I will raise my throne above the stars of God. I will sit and throne on the mount of our assembly, on the utmost heights of the sacred mountain. So when uh, Satan uh, rebelled against God, or Lucifer, he was uh, cast out of heaven. And we read in the Bible, like one third, of the angels uh, followed him. So Satan or Lucifer or devil, he is uh, subjected to the authority of God. He is not above God and he must give an account to God for everything that he does. And again we see verse uh, 7. The Lord said to Satan, Where have you come from? Satan answered the Lord. Satan answered the Lord. God asked and Satan answered. From roaming through the earth and going back and forth in it. So God asked uh, Satan, Hey, where have you come from? Satan says, uh, From uh, roaming through the earth and going back and forth there. Satan cannot be everywhere at the same time. Satan can only be 
in one place at a time. Because Satan is not omnipresent. So, but because he's an angel, he can uh, travel across the earth. But he cannot be at all the, in all the places at the same time. So as we read uh, Job uh, chapter 1, verse 6 and 7. So uh, read one thing first. Satan, as a created being, is subjected to the authority of God. He must give an account to God. He has no free hand. Where he can just go about doing whatever he desires to do without giving an account. And uh, chapter uh, verse 7, he, he says he's roaming through the earth. What was he doing uh, roaming through? The, what is he doing roaming through the earth? In uh, 1 Peter chapter 5, 1 Peter chapter 5, verse uh, 8. I'll read for you. 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 8. Be self-controlled and alert. Your enemy, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, looking for someone to devour. So the devil is looking for someone to devour, like a roaring lion. So the, he's been he's roaming. As I read in uh, verse 6, going uh, back and forth the earth, looking for someone to devour. So in the process, he must have uh, noticed uh, Job. He must have noticed how uh, faithful Job was. He must have uh, noticed the righteousness of Job. So uh, when God asked uh, Satan, hey, have you seen my servant Job? He said, I've seen because I've gone all over the world. And I know every person living on this earth. So, uh, when we read these uh, two verses, uh, we must uh, keep in mind uh, two things. One, Satan is subjected to God. So, when, in a time of need, it is when we have God on our side, the creator of heaven and earth, Sunday after Sunday, we uh, confess our faith to the Nice and Creed by saying, The Creator of heaven and earth, right? the, the Creator of uh, seen and unseen. The God that we worship is the one who created the seen and the unseen. And again, uh, in uh, Philippians uh, chapter 2, I'll just uh, read uh, a couple of verses for you. Verse uh, 9. Therefore God exalted uh, him, Jesus Christ, to the highest place and gave him the name that is above every name. That at the name of Jesus every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth. So at the name of Jesus every knee should bow. Satan also bows before Jesus. So when we have Jesus as our friend, as our saviour, there's absolutely no need for us to go and seek the help of our mediums or bonus. All that we got to do is to totally surrender our lives to God and call on Him in times of trouble and He will deliver us. Because he's our God, he's our Father, he's our friend, he's our Savior. So let us uh, turn to God. Let us be 100% uh, faithful, loyal to our God. Let us, un let us not, under any circumstances, seek the help of our mediums or bones. Our help should be the creator of heaven and earth.
Job uh, chapter 1, verse 6 and 7. A reminder. A, a, a gentle reminder to us. As much as uh, Satan may claim, but the Bible is very clear that he is subjected, is accountable to God. He is not God. God bless you. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.